is going on to all my movie fans out there and welcome back to my channel movie files elliot back again with a brand new movie review and today we're breaking down the new satirical thriller by the name of emergency now this film did premiere at the sundance film festival earlier this year and had some pretty good buzz behind it now i recently got a chance to sit down and check it out and i'm gonna let you know by the end of this review if i think it's worth your time we're gonna get into all that here in this spoiler free review but before we get into today's discussion make sure you're checking me out on all my other social media accounts if you all are new to the channel and love early movie reviews, TV breakdowns, and live streams, well come and join the community today by subscribing and hitting that notification bell. And if you all enjoyed my spoiler free movie review, well make sure you're liking and sharing this review, but also sharing your thoughts on the film, of course once you've seen it, from your pros, your cons, your thoughts on the performances, the direction, the deeper meanings and themes you all took away from the film, and ultimately, did you enjoy it or did you not enjoy it? Let's have those discussions in the comments below. So if this is your first time here about emergency you haven't seen a trailer let me give you guys a little bit of backstory of what you're gonna expect from this film Ready for a night of legendary partying, three college friends must weigh their pros and cons of calling the police when faced with an unexpected situation. Now for me personally, after watching this film, two movies came to mind and that is my favorite comedy of all time by the name of Superbad as well as a really good film by the name of Blindsiding. Now I'm going to give you some details of why I'm kind of comparing it to those two films, starting off with just kind of highlighting how the film plays with your expectations when it comes to you thinking that it's one thing and it's something completely different. Now tying this into Superbad in my comparison, as we know, great film in my opinion, our two main characters are faced with hilarious and outlandish situations that makes it become a great comedy, but as well as a great coming of age. Now tying it into this film, Emergency, this film shows you a little bit more of a realistic take on a bad gone worse situation and how those situations made our characters come of age and grow wiser when faced with these more extreme traumatic experiences. Now pivoting over to the tone of this film, I really enjoyed how it constantly rebuilds itself. We start off as a coming of age comedy, we transition into a more serious thriller, and then we dive deeper into the dramatic social commentary that this film has to add, as well as being a film about friendship at the core of it. Now this film does a really great job of kind of tackling different themes throughout the narrative. One theme that comes to mind is when someone else's mistake can affect others. There's a lot of social commentary that I really enjoyed how they weaved into the main narrative. Things that come to mind such as, I didn't mean it like that type of conversation involving different people and how they view different situations and diving a little bit deeper into the social commentary, mostly focusing on the police. And one thing that this film does a really good job of displaying is the fitting the description or fitting the description of our suspect narrative that I thought was really highlighted really well in this movie. Now one of the things I definitely want to take a moment to kind of shine a light on which I think the film did a really good job at displaying which is highlighting and breaking down the black experience versus a white person's experience and how their perceptions is skewed and also change even though their circumstances are exactly the same. Now diving deeper into the black experience this film does a good job at displaying the black stigma of the one black kid that can make it out of a situation or a black kid that has a very promising career whether it's in their schooling and processing that and going on to do something to change the world I think it highlights that type of narrative really well as well as the whole idea of growing up in different circumstances growing up with less resources and how those expectations are completely different now something that I recently spoke on on this channel is one of my favorite shows on TV which is Atlanta and they had an episode regarding the whole narrative of you're not black enough and how different black people have different experiences and sometimes when that whole you're not black enough narrative comes about it changes how people view you you can be skewed more towards being more of a upstanding citizen or considered a thug or consider someone that's involved in drugs so I think the film does a really good job of kind of tackling those narratives that we see and especially speaking from a black man those are conversations that we see a lot being held at the forefront of the conversation now pinpointing a particular element in this film that really stood out to me without giving away the way the film ends to me did a perfect job in displaying not allowing someone's guilt to enter into your headspace and not allowing someone's ignorance to affect you. And one of the things that I really want to applaud about this third act without giving nothing away at all most of these narratives that we kind of see social commentary black men in america police being involved we sometimes have a kind of a a sad ending a hopeless ending but again not diving into the minutia this had more of a hopeful type of resolution to the story that i really appreciate especially when we see in today's media and movies 
things don't normally end well in these type of stories. And that's kind of the last thing I want to kind of mention, but I, I will say I really applaud how the film ended. Now, I want to switch over to highlighting the performances in this film, starting off with RJ Siler, who plays Sean. Now, he is someone who's more focused on having fun and wants to embark on this epic night of spring break parties. Now, Sean has the whole night planned out, including hitting every party, which will be a legendary tour. And one of the things that I love about RJ, to me, I consider him one of those actors that just naturally conveys confidence and charisma, and he can make you laugh and cry all in the same film and I thought that he was fantastic in this movie but there's another actor that I want to highlight his name is Donald Elise Watkins who I've seen in smaller roles such as Barry Jenkins Underground and Amazon's Black Box. Now he plays Kool-Aid who is down to have a fun night with his close friend but he's mostly also concerned about finishing his project to help him get into Princeton and to kind of further his education. Now, I was very impressed with his acting sensibilities in this film and everything that he was given and showing the pressures of being that quote unquote special one and making it out of it, you know, and representing the black culture and going to higher lengths in their professional career. And I thought he did a great job of conveying that while at the same time being that black person in, in a society that maybe be considered not black enough or not having a certain way that he carries himself. And he really, to me, steals the film when it comes to his experience experiences especially when we get later on in the film he has a very like drama intense very sad very emotional moment that will change his life forever and I thought that he absolutely slayed his performance so those two performances to me really stood out but kind of get into more of the behind the scenes element and I'm referring to the director and the screenwriter in this film Williams and KD Dabila I think they did such a great job of conveying something that we don't see too often in today's movies and films which is showing the vulnerability from black men and expressing their emotions so I really do applaud not only a strong direction but also the great narrative and kind of showing those things like, like I said, that we don't see too much in today's media and movies and films. So those are really some things that I highlighted and really stood out to me in this film. But let's transition to the things that didn't necessarily work with me in this movie. Doing my research on Emergency, I found out that this was actually a short film that turned into a feature film. And kind of knowing that, I can kind of see where those elements of them kind of adding more to the film and making it more of a feature length. And to me, those moments felt a bit underdeveloped as well as underwhelming. And I'm mainly focusing on and talking about the whole Emma and Maddie plot and the whole slide plot that they have with Maddie trying to find Emma. And again, not giving too much away, but when you all see it, you know what I'm referring to. But to me, that side plot wasn't as engaging nor as, as interesting as the other elements in this film. Transitioning to over th other things that stood out to me that didn't necessarily work, the film also has many frustrating moments and terrible decisions from our characters, and I'm not going to lie, a lot of plot conveniences that kind of had me rolling my eyes while I was watching that. Now, that was just a little minor thing, but there were moments where I'm just like, come on, this is a terrible decision by our characters. But getting more into one of the things that definitely bothered me, I mentioned earlier how the film plays with their expectations and expect the unexpected, but there were moments in particular halfway through the film in which we get our stereotypical fight between our friends that to me felt forced within the narratives just for the sake of having drama within a film and then completely felt unnecessary and kind of derailed the momentum into getting to more of the dramatic elements into the movie. So that was something that kind of stood out to me in regards to necessarily didn't work for me. But those are my main pros. Those are my main cons. Before I give you my overall score and if this film is worth watching, if you haven't already, make sure you like the review, share the review, leave your thoughts in the comments, and of course, subscribe to the channel. Overall, Urgency provides a comedy within the college last night big party moments, but slowly becomes at its core a story about friendship and a love story about two friends whose friendship is challenged due to an unexpected situation and within that unexpected situation it highlights their ideologies which in return reveals a much deeper and much needed commentary about the experiences of some young black men in today's society. 
Overall, I'm going to give Emergency a 4 out of 5. Now, this film is available in limited theaters, but will be available to stream on Prime Video on May 27th. And based on my score and based on my opinion, I recommend you all give it a watch. And when you do, let me know what you thought of the film, what worked, what didn't work. Did you find it to be funny? Did you have good emotional beats when it came to the social commentary? What other themes did you all take away from the film? And like I said, did you like it? Did you not like it? Let's have those discussions in the comments. Thank you all for watching my review. If you enjoy what I had to say here, again, make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell. That way you don't miss any of my future reviews. Hope you all enjoyed this conversation. Hope you're staying safe. As you can see on the screen now, come and join the community. Check out my other recent movie reviews. Check out my most recent review, and we'll catch you all on the next breakdown.